And uh, this is going to be very brief. Dr. Bansi was asking me to uh, speak on some of the RSSDI's initiatives. So um, I am not trying to repeat because they, we have extensively spoken about type 1 diabetes and uh, various aspects of it. And uh, this is just a slide for us to understand again that, um, you know, diabetes in young can be type 1 or it can be even type 2 or it can be even other varieties. Sometimes it, it's not so easy to differentiate. So this is an important thing that we should understand. And uh, this is the most common pediatric endocrine disorder, as we all know. And uh, this is uh, about ICMR registry, which has told us it's very prevalent. And um, almost 64% of the young diabetics are type 1. That's the inference given. So we have many challenges. I, I've been listening to uh, many of the very learned speakers, Dr. Rishi and others, and uh, Dr. Sharda, many of you, in fact. So it's 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 quite a challenge to manage type 1 diabetic people, especially those who are economically poor, those who are rural-based, and many of the parents could be, you know, less literate. And uh, many times the parents are involved taking care of the other children, doing so many things. And uh, somebody was mentioning about the afternoon dose, which is always a challenge for us. Many, and some of the children in the government school do not have even toilets, so it's a problem for the girls. So we have been looking at all these and some of the things that probably mentioned, but I still thought it's worth repeating that many of our especially poor children eat a lot of carbohydrate diet, whatever you take. say. If the uh, white rice is more prevalent in South, they keep eating it, the government supplies them. So, so the problem is many of these children, although they are low weight, they require high dose of insulin. And as many of the earlier speakers said, we skip the afternoon doses and uh, children do skip the doses during the travel functions. So many things happen and also they get into a lot of hypoglycemic attacks very often because they may not be eating in time or they have seasonal fevers, other conditions and the insulin is continued. And this is what I was mentioning about. And we also know that we have the highest number. And the problem is 50% of them cannot afford the treatment because of the poverty. And coupled with the poverty, they are in the rural areas. You know, no, no access with uh, uh, no access to especially care. So I always uh, I always put this slide to say that who should treat type 1 diabetics children in India? Is it pediatric endocrinologist, endocrinologist, pediatrician, physician, finally general practitioner? So I think. Even we have to train our general practicing doctors and of course all diabetologists and all that people in the above group who can reasonably manage type 1 diabetes. This is, I'm not exaggerating when I say this because at least they are able to provide certain minimal care uh, to our uh, children, especially those rural based, especially those who belong to a lower socioeconomic strata. And uh, as you know, RSSDI has been doing extensive work in various areas, whether it's in the public awareness programs, in type 2 diabetes, gestational diabetes, diabetes in children. And recently, uh, thanks to my colleague, Dr. Pansi Sabu, and many of you are here, we have also started working on doing projects for type 1 children with the help of uh, uh, some of the corporates and with the help of our members. We have even uh, made some modules which will be useful to our members. You know, modules for diabetes educators, modules for diabetologists, modules for even diabetes caregivers. These are the ones which have recently been formed and they're available on the website so that, you know, we want to spread the knowledge about type 1 diabetes and uh, equip them with more information so that uh, uh, somewhere across the management uh, improves, if not perfect. Um, so these are some of the modules that we have already rolled out. There are doctor modules, there are patient giver modules, educator modules, which I mentioned to you. We need to make them more popular. We need to see that they reach it uh, reaches out to the people. And uh, these are some of the things that we have already done. Training the pediatricians is also important. The uh, basically, the children go, go to the pediatricians. Also, GPs cannot be ignored because in the rural area, they are the practitioners who are available to either the child or adult. 
So we need to make them a little more confident to initiate, at least look at the problems properly. You know, many of the children present themselves right at stage of DKA. So they need to do something before shifting the child to, a, you know, to some other place. So we cannot ignore anybody, any medical practitioner when it comes to managing uh, uh, type 1 diabetes. So that's exactly what we are looking at training, not only the doctors, also diabetes educators. And we have prepared many modules and it's going to take up more things. And uh, uh, that was uh, one of the reasons that I also tried to be make it very short and also see what best we can do. And in fact, we are in the process of uh, evolution. We need to do much more. And uh, programs like this, you know, inspired programs where we could not attend uh, the main inspired, it becomes important. So what is the happy thing about it is now that more and more people are aware of type 1 diabetes. And we have yesterday seen Shilpa Joshi and others, many of you. We, we are trying to sensitize the government, NGOs, professional organizations like RSDI. All of us need to work together. I particularly made it very short so that we can have some discussion or else I did not want to repeat what all has been said, uh, Dhruvi. So, so I, I thought I'll just take only 10 minutes and I'm done with it. Uh, thank you for giving me this chance.